and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grixis Control. That's right, we, we had to play Grixis Control one more time here in War of the Spark Standard. This has been one of our most popular decks here on stream. And for good reason, Nickel Bull's Dragon God is just an awesome, awesome Planeswalker. Really cool card to play. And so we've been, you know, trying to make Grixis work. It's been kind of tough. Um, one thing that I'm really looking forward to with, with M20 coming out, as we were just kind of talking about, is the card Grafdigger's Cage. I think that is, that's going to be an awesome sideboard card here for Grixis to really help some of the tougher tougher matchups that it has. Like Experimental Frenzy, we've seen how that's just such a hard card for Grixis Control to deal with. And Grafdigger's Cage just stops it immediately for one, one mana as an artifact because you can't cast cards off the top of your library with Grafdigger's Cage. So I think that's like the perfect sideboard card here for Grixis. Um, you know, we don't have to really maybe play like the Ugins that are like, you know, real expensive, but we just kind of have these in here to help stop Frenzy and other things. Um, so looking forward to that one. But this is where, uh, this is where I'm at right now, uh, before, you know, the last, last, uh, league here before M20 comes out, uh, got a lot of two mana cards. You can see here, I'm really focused on the two mana trying to, trying to have a lot of cheaper interaction. I'm less high on Cry of the Carnarium right now, so kind of cut the Cry of the Carnarium, just have the one in the sideboard, and just want, just want a good cheap interaction. Ritual of Soot, because that still kills basically everything. Uh, you know, maybe not a Danto Vanguard, but, you know, basically everything else, but it also gets rid of Wild Growth Walker, Hydroid Crisis, Nissa Tokens. Love me some rit Ritual of Soot these days. And then, you know, like we, we have our, our top end card card advantage and game enders to go with our two mana interaction. So uh, that's that's our deck. Here we go. We got five matches to play. Let's let's get in the let's get in the Grixis feel. Let's go with Nicol Bolas. All right, we're at ninety six percent mythic. After a tough one four run with Team or Hydra. We started the day at 93%, so we're still up 3%. Seeing if we get to that top 1,000. This is... Aw. Thanks, Tony. So you like so you really like like the first part of the video and the the last part of the video like where I talk about the decks and everything. Hmm. We got that one negate just to get him. Just to get him. Double hero. So I can ritual of sit away the heroes. The Othakaya kills my Narset. But kind of so would the heroes. I'm going to take the guard mage that... Let's keep that. I'm going to take the guard mage that, like, draws a card also. And, like, I have to, like, you know, try to find, like, some awkward removal spell for it with it costing four mana and everything. Okay, so we'll have sit for next turn. Got the negate there. I'm hoping the turn after we sit here, we get to draw. Hopefully we draw a land here where we get to Narsa at plus Thought Erasure. I guess it has to be a blue land to be able to do that.
There is the blue land. Convenient. Thought Razor first. Well, I can't really ever beat Command the Dread Horde. So we gotta take that. It's not it's not the worst card that I've seen. I have practiced, I have just the trick for this. Alright, Othakaya comes down to kill Narset. Yeah, Invincible, I just like presenting myself this way. I like how I look in a tie. And so that's how I like to present myself publicly and everything. You are a mighty warrior. I concede. Alright, we already know like basically what I'm taking, so let's My let's do it this way so we get to surveil the prowess. next turn. Oh, give me that Ascanta. Ooh, give me that nickel bolus too. I can no longer stand by and watch. Ooh, oh, not I've bouncing the Othakaya. Keep an open mind. I will spare you in exchange for eternal servitude. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot. Man, Grix is cool. That's more like it. So, yeah, the three mana artifact that turns your land into any land. Uh, you're thinking of Chromatic Lantern. Okay, there's some actually somebody just said that in the chat. Oh, whoops. My mind needs a rest. Conceivable. My schemes are never ending. All right, with them getting rid of like the other card, we'll just make them discard this Liliana here. All right, so we have like just a sideboard full of cards that are situationally good, and that could be good here. Don't want like the Star of Extinction, my my catch up from super far behind card. So the thing is, we don't really have cards that are bad in this matchup, which is tough. Maybe I cut Discovery because of Narset. I don't know, the, the Discoveries there were really crucial. Yeah, coil. You can get rid of a coil one soot. Um, I could just play hostage takers instead of soots. No. I wonder if I don't really want the creatures, honestly, here. What if we cut the creatures? The creatures are pretty easy to answer. So 
So this is pretty terrible also because we we don't even have like enough black sources. Honestly. Let's keep this. I'll just keep it on top so the auto erasure doesn't do anything. Hmm. Ah, there's another one there. So we need three black sources for Nicol Bolas. We need two for Ritual of Soot, Bedevil, cards like that. Why couldn't you have Thought Erasure? If you wish to surrender, grab Thought Erasure. And prepare. Gross. Get some more thought erasures. Sorry, I'm late. Keep up the pace. Yeah, so we're going to be relying on the Star of Extinction, of course. Before action. We're going to be able to take the Dovin's Veto. I guess I... I guess I should wait a turn to to duress because yeah they get this this extra one one for an extra turn. And we just gotta hope they don't thought erasure me next turn, and that they don't have another Dovin's veto. I know my responsibility. Let's try this. I guess I'm probably dead to like Othakaya's. Oh, they they're just gonna elder spell. Yeah, never mind. They just elder spell kill me. With a little Teferi there. All right, I'll play Ravager instead of Discovery, because of Narset. Elbly. Thanks to the tier one sub. Welcome to the channel. Enjoy all the awesome emotes, and thank you very much for the support. It's our seventh. Sub of the day there. <laughs> Two time ravelers, another thought erasure, and a Guard Mage. This Guard Mage is pretty annoying, honestly.
Yeah, you can wear the tie too. All right, what else we got? There's a blood fast. One command, two commands. All right, draw another land. Come on, deck. You can do it. Bloodfast definitely makes Command the Dreadhorde worse. Yeah, I guess Deckmaster is still broken. Bloodfast is really good in this matchup, especially obviously like right where where we're at in the game. I I don't really know if Bloodfast is really that good against anybody else besides me. To be honest, like I don't even think you want Bloodfast in an Esper mirror. I've got it. Don't worry, I got this. This card is so much better than than the other Teferi in this matchup. The five mana Teferi is it draws a card every single turn. This thing draws a card every like four turns. They're just not really close. Here we go. They drew that blood that blood fast at like a perfect time also. And it's just great in this matchup against me. Looks like they have like every answer in their deck for anything I play. Trust I don't really have any, have any incentive to play anything for a while until I draw, you know, like a few things to play. Kind of make them just go to discard, right? Like, it's just, it's just basically why do I play? Like, why play anything? 
kind of thing. So Nicol Bolas is just, all it is is mind rot. The problem is if they find Thought Erasure, that's that's like the real problem, and then they Thought Erasure it away. They've already seen two of those, though. Nothing. Yeah, which is which is good. Like Dreadhorde is like a card I can't ever beat in this matchup, and so like the Bloodfast, at least the Bloodfast made the Dreadhorde do nothing. I guess now they just keep sacrifice like whatever creatures they play they can sacrifice since they flipped it. This might be a bad idea. This isn't a fight you can win. I'll protect you. Ascant is a really important one. I don't know how I'm going to really protect it from a counterspell. Do they have Negate in their deck? They probably don't, right? They probably just have Veto. I don't think they have Veto in their hand. It auto-tapped. So Actually, they probably don't have a counterspell. Because it just auto-tapped and didn't leave up white in the auto-tap. And just left up red, blue, black, blue, black. Don't worry. I got this. <clears throat> what are they playing blue, black? At? They'd want to keep up. Besides, like, Thought Erasure. Like Tyrant Scorn or whatever. So I don't think they have Veto. Yeah, I saw the whole deck, but I didn't have time to like look at every single little card. I just, you know, took note of a couple of cards, like Bloodfast. And then they drew Bloodfast the very next turn. We are but moats in a vast multiverse. Their win con is the creatures. To 
Be just like sure. Command the Dread Horde and the creatures, just like it always is. You know, hero, guard mage, bell hunt, that kind of stuff. They definitely have command the dread horde because that's all they're doing is is looking here. So, all right, double guard mage. The card is awesome. They're at 16 cards in hand, or 16 cards in the deck, to our 38. Yeah, they drew a whole bunch of cards off of this Bloodfast. Those who cannot proceed beyond the game. I have just the trick for this. No, it's not Tony. I'm just trying to put, just trying to stream consistently and trying to put together the best stream YouTube channel that I can. Oh, I, I don't know exactly what all M20 is adding to the feather deck right now, honestly. Um, yeah, you know, we'll kind of go through, I, I haven't really looked at like the whole set completely because, you know, I've still been playing like the standard format and stuff, but we'll be doing that tomorrow. I train every day. No one is more prepared than me. Keep an open mind. I want to starve extinction that temple. My favorite feather deck is the the Naya feather slash Naya hero that I that I really like, or that I made that I put together. Um, that's my favorite feather deck. But to be fair, I haven't really played too much of like the Boros versions. I just it's not something that interests me too much, but I've got time. I have reached my limit. Oh, why'd they have to find a discard spell? Ugh. I just wanted to blow up this temple to keep them from gaining life. I am a god once again. Did you eons ago? Man, that discard spell for the Star of Extinction. That star is going to be so clutch. 
getting rid of the temple and the board. Like, they still would have been able to command, but they would have had just, like, the 14 life, and, like, that's it for the command of the Dread Horde. I have other schemes to attend to. And then that would have been like their last command. And then if I would have drawn something to, to take care of the board from there. Like that Star of Extinction really could, could help me win this and could uh, help me have them deck themselves. Here we go. Put thoughtfulness before action. I don't I don't really know what I'm drawing oh, for right I've now, honestly. Hero thing before. All right, I think I figured it out. I need them to waste this command, the Dread Horde. So I need them, yeah, I need them just to use command, the Dread Horde. Yeah, there's just well, the one star in the deck. Oh, well, that, never mind, I'm taking lethal. We'll remake the multiverse in my image. If I need them to do that, I need to draw Elder Spell and like play Bolas plus Elder Spell and Ultimate Bolas. Bloodfast just did us in there. That was like the. Bloodfast is just awesome, awesome against me. And they drew it at like. A perfect time there too in the game. Thanks, Tony. Yeah, glad you like it. But yeah, no, I. Uh, can't have any music on the YouTube channel, so yeah, the YouTube channel doesn't have any playlist or anything. Alright, so we got the Niv-Mizzet Reborn deck. They have perfect mana. If I take Niv-Mizzet, they just Tamiyo and get it back. So I guess I just take Tamiyo. It's gonna be tough to beat Nimbus. It. Card's very good. Hey, what's up, Justice? Thanks, that Risa. Our eighth of the day. Let me get my high boats in there. Okay. This is going to be another really long match. Just like last one. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. 
Basically, two control decks again. Of my power. So, Hawkeye's come up to keep me company. That's a. That's why this card's so good. They do, they get to draw five, including Tamio. They'll get back reborn. That's a good card. Intellect is without limit. I know more than you could learn in a thousand. My plan. So if if my opponent doesn't do anything to interact with me, which is really unlikely, but if they don't, they just like go like like if it's just like Tamio bring back Niv Mizzet and like nothing else. You know, I could Elder Spell win with Nicol Bolas kind of thing. Yeah, my opponent just got five cards off Niv Mizzet. I think. I think they got five. Maybe it was four. Maybe one of them doubled up. Like the phases of the moon, life waxes and wanes. No tail should be discarded. Rampage, rampage, rampage. Boo. Defiance is infuriating. Wait, do I still have this? This thing ultimate at eight starts at four. I don't even need a shock in there, but whatever. Just in case I'm messing something up. Secrets manifest before you. All right, just like what happened in the story, Nickel Bulls comes in, kills multiple planeswalkers, and makes and just takes over, wins the game. So Nickel Bulls does. I think that ha that's exactly what happened in the story. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> that's not what happened I'm pretty sure that's what happened Yeah, you've had more success with the Grixis Super Friends and Grixis Control. I could see that. Super Friends is pretty good to basically what makes it Super Friends is just, you know, playing more planeswalkers, playing like uh Sarkins for one. And then like Kasmina, maybe Karn. That kind of stuff. Planeswalkers are just very good. So Ego, of course, is for Niv Mizzet Reborn. Get that out of their deck. So Time Raveler, Rampage, Discovery, Oath of Kaya. I'll just take the Time Raveler for now.
I've heard mixed things about the book. I, I that was like the first reviews I've heard that was that it wasn't good. But lately I've been hearing some good reviews of people liking it. So I I'm not sure if If maybe at first people just kind of, you know, saw like a, a bad review and then just other people just said it without reading it, I you know I don't I don't know. Uh, Dovin's veto. So yeah, they they kept both cards on top, of course. There with the, oh I forgot. Whenever you click all four, you don't get to look at the rest of the deck. Dang it, you have to go look at the deck first. It's... So yeah, we did see Enigma Drake. Was there expected to be, like, is character development something that's supposed to be in that kind of book? Like, I, I honestly don't know, like, the answer to that question. This weirdly casual gay watch hanging around the house and then like, hey, let's go fight some crime. Right on schedule. Let's try this. See, that seems like a pretty cool book. The immortal, Just the gay watch hanging around and then saying, hey, let's go fight some crime. My Hanging out in the Lars house. Let your weak I do have the book. I just haven't started reading it yet. But I actually, I have the book. I'll protect you. My schemes have been foiled. Resonate throughout. I have other plans. My schemes are never ending. Guess I'm just going to kill the Teferi so that we can have negate next turn. Because that passive ability is super rude. You amuse me. Uh, speaking of super rude. I don't know, Bedevil could be a good card. Well, it's kind of nice here after the Kefnet if they had something, then we get to reveal it. They did not. Alright, start attacking for four. Oh yeah, there's Lantern I could destroy. That's true. I forgot about Lantern. I guess I could have destroyed the Lantern. Nope. 
yeah, so there's no reason not to reveal and destroy Lantern. All right, we've gone from 28 down to 11, or 27 down to 11, the four attacks there. Sorry I'm late. Yeah, you late. That's more like it. We need three more attacks. No, I am not making this up as I go. I got got by discovery dispersal. I should have been keeping a land in hand for that card. I really should have seen that. Right, we don't get to actually cast the copy because of to fair, you can't cast stuff except for sorcery speed. Okay. Come on back here in a little bit, Kefnet. I guess I'm supposed to keep a land in hand. All right, we'll thought erasure this turn to protect Hefnet. Give them another draw step. See if they draw. Oh yeah, we can pretty easily, pretty easily play Bolas and flip Bolas. But I'll go ahead and play the land so we could like draw a couple cards. Let's see. Can I, can I play? Let's see. Can I cast Niv Mizzet reborn or n the other Nickel Bolas, the Dragon God, also? So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, one short. So I was thinking, like, play Nickel Bolas, flip it, get their Tamio, have their Tamio grab my Nickel Bolas, Dragon God, and then play Nickel Bolas, Dragon God. But I'd be one, one short. The past is never forgotten. I have become too involved with my work. I can still recast my my Kefnet though. Trust me, I have a plan. All right. So play this. Flip this. And then, I, yeah, the four mana to play Kefnet also. That was a long match. We may not do five matches with, with Grixis Control. These are some long matches. We'll see. Easy keep. All 
<laughs> Thanks, Ranzino. Glad you're enjoying the playlist. The playlist, you can find the playlist on my Spotify here if I do an exclamation point playlist. Yeah, Grixis likes to take its time. Alright, so unfortunately 3-2 Branch Walker gets to attack and kill Narset. Which is unfortunate. I can also just not activate Narset. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. That seems kind of lame though. I have just the trick for this. I was gonna. I was actually thinking. I was like, well, I could just wait till next turn. They attack Narset down to two, and then kind of see what they do, and then I can activate Narset the next turn and have more information about what I want to do with the card. But we only had one choice anyway, so it wasn't wasn't a hard decision. Hey, way to go, Lead Farmer! Reaching I Mythic for the first time. Together. Congratulations. Good job. Do you think the loss of check lands and considering we're only getting five new duels will make tricolor decks much less common to see? Well, we won't be losing the check lands until the fall set, till rotation at the fall. And fall sets always have more dual lands. Like the fall sets are, fall sets always have dual lands. So we're gonna we're gonna be getting more. So basically, we're gonna get the the five um, scry lands right now. Plus, we're gonna get five some other kind of lands. So. Uh, because of how with Ravnica, Ravnica always focuses on the multicolor cards, and so I, I don't expect to see less multicolor cards with Ravnica coming out, to answer your question. I guess I just have to trade Volus for Tamiyo. I don't like doing this trade, but I guess I need to do this trade. Don't like this trade. All will bow before Nicole Bolas. All right, not trading. They just have like the nine the nine things. Could get rid of something. I will return one day. I outsmarted you eons ago. They don't have anything like great to grab. Hmm. I so I'm just hoping I they whiff. Boo. Yeah, I like spells. Not lands. Don't give them lands. Give them spells. Spell? Dang. From 
existence. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, Skyland the yes, M20 right now rotates next next fall. It does rotate in fall 2020. The fall 2020 is correct. M19 is rotating out this year, so M20 is going to rotate out next year. Um, I really, you know, definitely regret not killing the Tamiyo. I follow the tracks of the wine. Right away the first time. That's why when I cast the Discovery, I was looking for something to kill the Tamiyo, but settled on Knuckle Bolus, the Ravager. That's a good card. One mana short from Ritual of Soot clearing the board and then Ugin killing the, the Tamiyo. So I'd like, like another Nicol Bolas would be good. The five mana Nicol Bolas, that is. Or just any Planeswalker removal spell besides Angrass Rampage. Wherever I go, an unfortunate casualty. Thought Razor doesn't do anything because of Tamiyo. To the library. We're going to have to have Ego for command, of course. But got really punished for not minusing the Nickel Bolas. That was a, a tough decision there and one that didn't work out for me. I like Hostage Taker in this matchup. Uh, that's why it's basically my sideboard is for this matchup for the Krasis and then even just like Wild Growth Walker. It's very good against those cards. I'm going to take out Narset, Kefnet, the Rampage, I guess, because of Tamiyo. Ugin's kind of expensive.
All right, game two, down a game. Tamiyo says that you cannot sacrifice permanence, and so that's why Angrass Rampage makes you sacrifice, but you can't actually sacrifice with Tamiyo on the battlefield, so that's why that's why those cards don't really line up for you. You don't actually get to do your thing with Rampage. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. So slow hand for them over there. Very good hand, though. I mean, I, I can't possibly beat Command the Dread Horde. So I just have to take that. I guess maybe I could. If I take Duress. I should cut that land. Yeah, I should have cut that land. All right, so they trophy the hostage taker. I have all the Elder Spells in right now, right? Yeah. An unfortunate casualty. Ooh, that's a good one. I wish I would have kept that land on top. I guess I wouldn't have Thought Erasure and Lava Coil right now, though. Um, man, do we want to risk it and try to just play Nicol Bolas tick up? Try to draw a land... I cannot exploit. So the only thing in the graveyard right now is Hostage Taker, as far as Command the Dread Hordes goes. Your efforts are futile. Alive or alive. Star Extinction is wipes the entire battlefield. So if they get a whole bunch of creatures and planeswalkers out like Tamiyo and like Nissa makes a bunch of lands and everything. You kill all the creatures, all the planeswalkers and you destroy a land too. It's expensive, but it's 
the best reset button there is. a moat of my power. Oh, it's not often I'm outmaneuvered. So now they could get Vraska and Hostage Taker with Command the Red Horde. Oh no. Of a time, Planeswalker. That's not good. Ooh, that is good. I don't know, maybe I just Star of Extinction here, honestly. Before playing this other thing and just blow up the Black Source. Make it so they only have two lands. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so they still need two lands. Sorry. That's what I was thinking. There we go. One way to keep him off of Command the Dread Horde. I'll play Kefna instead of Ugin. Thanks, Ripper. Kefnet dodges duress negate. She only saw both of those and can help pressure the planeswalkers. Hmm. Are we drawing a land? Any land will turn on discovery. We get to go from there, and this hand is nice. We're bas basically both. Both draws are like 50 50, basically. We'll just ship it. This hand's much worse. Much, much worse. But it has lands. It's like, that's your hand? Dang, that's a bad hand. And I'm like, yeah, I know. It looks like they missed a land drop, though. I like lava coiling that thing right now because it means it doesn't, won't ever come back. From Command the Dread Horde. No. Uh. Mm. Card. Ooh. Perfect. 
immortal because Learned my lesson last time. Will be your Kill the Tamiyo immediately. Don't let them get back anything. I'm honestly surprised. Like, I think they, they said trophy, but they really should have just minus and grabbed the duress, I think. But I don't know. I guess the, yeah, they, they, were ref they were filling up their graveyard with stuff. Spell, yes. Spell, spell, spell. No, not land. So that's two duress, two negate. Gone. So I could wait till next turn and see if I draw duress or thought erasure to go along with this. But honestly, I don't think that's really worth it. It's just a pretty low percentage chance of taking the, the damage there. Negate's very rude. It's an M19 island. It's a sweet one. I don't really understand what's going on in the yard there. Good thing I kept that land on top after we mulliganed, right? We definitely needed that land. London mulligan, please. What's up, Hawkeye? All right, one and two. Yeah, we're losing. We're losing, boy. Need your help. There you go. That's a good hand. Thanks, Hawkeye. Yeah, definitely planning on making an angel deck for sure, King J. I might might change some stuff there, but yeah, definitely want to make a Safara deck. I like that card quite a bit. Yeah, that that'll be something that we'll make. Uh, probably, I mean, probably Tuesday, probably first day, honestly. I don't know why our opponent didn't just activate on their own turn and attack me for four. Honestly, don't know what the upside was there of waiting. I wanted to see if there's like a rekindling phoenix, because uh, that car was going to be kind of problematic. Dang, they didn't play the spellbreaker. Certainly hoping they would. Nefer, that's your fault. You said in before Phoenix top deck? That's your fault that our opponent drew a Phoenix. It's 
all your fault. Should have said in before lava coil top deck. Either of us drawing lava coil I've been happy with. Nefer, stop. Too many phoenixes. I will remake the multiverse in my suffer for your cause. All right, so I guess next turn I'm playing Narset, minusing, looking for Coil. I have other schemes to attend to. There are so many on your prowess. Come on, there you go. Yeah, I don't... Uh, how our opponent kept that card in hand. Oh, gosh. Are you kidding me? Didn't think Dispersal would really work. Many phoenixes. Just draw three of them. Does Spark is not holding Grixis back? It's just a removal spell. There's a lot of. A lot of really good removal in standard. Yes, cards die to removal. That's My presence how it works. Your past is unwritten. So, That's kind of ridiculous. All right, so we're going to want these hostage takers for the phoenixes. I know the god eternals can help stabilize the ground as well. I think Crowther Canarium is good against War Boss, but I'm not sure if it's going to be really good against anything else. But let's put it in the deck. Maybe it's just Moment of Craving. So negate one is Kanta, the Narsets. Put 
Put in one moment over an Ugin. Let's take let's take out both Ugins. Want to have less. <clears throat> want to have less um, planeswalkers with them playing Immortal Sun. Oh, you're talking about a, a Niv Reborn five color deck with Dispark? Yeah, I mean that that'd be different than Grixis. But yeah, if, if Grixis could pretty easily splash Dispark. Like, if Grixis had access to the Spark, that would be really, really nice for Grixis. Um, would solve a lot of problems. You know, like Experimental Frenzy and so on. Grixis is kind of missing... It's missing, like, the incidental life gain that Esper has. That's, that's really valuable. And then, uh, you know, we did. And then, of course, enchantment hate. Right, yeah, no, Deckmaster is not working right now. It's been like that all day, unfortunately. I'm not finished with you, not by a long shot. Yeah, I think Ugin's Mina should exile also. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, be like Nothing old Ugin, like exile, instead of destroy. We won't answer to other guilds. Okay. Meow. What? All right, do I want to coil? No, I don't want to coil the Paradise Druid. I'm just going to play my land and pass whenever Hawkeye lets me. High five? Hey, high five. High five. All right, here, come over here. Thank you. He sees me... Uh, you know, like I have my hand over here, like on the mouse and stuff, and he thinks that, like I'm moving, you know, I'm moving my hand and everything, and he he starts attacking it, thinking that we're like playing or something. Let's have to distract him. Put him over here. Come and destroy. Yeah, I I played Grixis Aggro once with with butchers and war bosses and didn't do too well with it, didn't like it too much. Oh really thought erasure now? One of like, you know, any other previous time? Don't think it would have been good. Well, their hand's great. Mine's terrible. I don't remember exactly, you know, it was a little while ago, so I don't remember exactly what I didn't like about the deck, what we were struggling with. I think it was like just like actually like finishing out games, you know, like we would get like a little bit of damage in and stuff, but then we couldn't really finish out the games very well. Cause these 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 attrition based decks are just so good. And the Dreadhorde Butchers weren't good.
I, I don't know how I'm supposed to... I mean, I gotta draw some kind of removal for this Elkite. I need a whole lot of help from you, Hawkeye. We won't answer all the guilds. <laughs> all right, well, we started the stream off well. Mardu banned. But Teamer and Grixis have just been pretty bad for us. And we're back where we started now after two really bad runs there. I don't know. That's kind of how it's been the last handful of times I've played Grixis. I just haven't really had much success with it. It needs like a lot better sweeper. Ritual of Soot just, you know, just isn't good enough. You know, like it's not Kaya's Wrath. Like, so the reason why Esper is so much better than Grixis is because they have Kaya's Wrath, they have Life Gain with Bell Hunt, Oath of Kaya. You know, like they just have like good Life Gain just kind of in there, and they have Kaya's Wrath, and their their cards get rid of all permanents. The Teferis get rid of every single type of permanent. They get rid of enchantments. Unfortunately. Nicobol's Dragon God is awesome, but besides that, red just isn't offering anything. And it's just not good enough, unfortunately. Hey, Lushington. Wait, there's no there's no life gain, there's no ways to get rid of any any permanence and the sweeper, kind of most importantly, the sweeper, like Ritual of Soot compared to Kaya's Wrath is just not you know, it's not a close comparison. Kaya's Wrath is just so much better. Um you know, as we saw there, you know, I'm sitting with Ritual of Soot. They they play Skargon Hellkite, and it's like, what what is this Ritual of Soot doing? Like, why can't this be Kai's Wrath? Kind of thing. So yeah, Esper just kind of has everything. Grixis doesn't have everything. So that's where we're at right now. Um, yeah, you could play an Esper Shell and Splash Red for Bolas. Yeah, you can do that. Um, it's not really war it doesn't really make the deck better. Like Nicol Bolas is an awesome, awesome card, but the power level on, on Esper is already so high that Nicol Bolas doesn't really help improve your deck, to be honest. Um, yeah, and Kaiserath has the backdoor life gain also. Yep. Yep. All right. So that's Grixis Control here. Uh, we'll have to see, like, with Core 2020, we know we're definitely getting Graph Digger's Cage for the sideboard. Excited about that card in the sideboard for this deck. That will shore up some things. You know, that will help against the the Command the Dread Horde decks. That will help. That will really help against Frenzy, which is a big part. Um, but, you know, we'll see if... I haven't really looked through the whole set yet, see if there's anything like in Grixis or Colorless that, that helps deal with enchantments or maybe... Maybe has some better life gain than uh, Enter the God Eternals. Like Enter the God Eternals is good, but there could be like some other life gain that help it out. Um. So there we go. Add Spark Double here to the deck. I mean, we weren't really on tap. Like we weren't really on tapping with Nickel Bolas Dragon God too often to be able to Spark Double it. 
Uh, no, Grafdigger's Cage says you just can't cast cards off the top of your library. Like, you can't cast cards in library, so you just can't. So, you know, like, you're just not allowed to cast cards with Frenzy, like, from the top of the library kind of thing. <clears throat> it's like it's like how you can't cast instance when Teferi's out. You know, it doesn't it doesn't allow you to. All right, so there we go. Um, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hope you had some fun today with our four decks here, uh, kind of going through for our last time before war or before M20. Tomorrow we're doing our big M20 set review. Make sure you stay tuned for that, and then we'll have our sub battle stream on Saturday also. All right, so thank you so much for watching Grixis Control, and I will see you for another video.